I'm gonna be doing something a little different today and I'm actually gonna show you how to make cute block letters for your home or maybe if you're in a sorority you can give them to your little sister or filling out a name an inspirational um, word or really anything you want even if it was just one and it was your initial that'd be cute so what I have here I bought everything from Michaels and Target and it was pretty inexpensive what I'm gonna spell out today is my sorority letters because I've made my little letters for them but I've never had any for myself so today I'm gonna make myself some so I just have a Z a T and an A so I'm gonna have three letters to make and these were, I think, $3.99 at Michael's. I got the white ones because I wanted the background to be white in it. And I suggest if you're putting it on a colored wall, the white would look good. But obviously, if you're putting it on a white wall, white against white does not show up at all. So kind of decide your colors based on like the wall you're putting it on. And the colors I'm doing are actually not my sorority colors, which are... Um, steel gray and turquoise blue but I'm actually just doing a black and white theme because my bedroom furniture is in black and white so I kind of wanted to go with that. It would stand out really great against the walls I'm going to be painting soon which I think I'm going to do some sort of like blue color. So I just bought this black, it's apple barrel gloss and it was an extremely cheap paint. You can obviously buy more expensive higher quality but it's an acrylic paint and it's in a gloss finish so that is what I got and I didn't buy white just because I purposely picked out letters that were the cleanest so I didn't have to go over it again. But they also have block letters that are just wood colored which I've bought before and I did have to paint the base white so it just depends what letter you're getting. I know even some of them come in like like multiple colors so it depends where you go. Michael's is just the only one around here that has those. You're also going to need something to paint with. I just bought this extremely cheap painter um spongy thing and this was i think 30 cents or something like that it was extremely inexpensive i usually buy one per paint color i use so since i'm only using black i just got one of these and you're gonna need a ruler or a tape measure if you're gonna be doing something that needs to be evened out i want to do stripes today so that's why i'm using this i have done some before where i just paint the whole thing one color and use extremely pretty sticker decals for it which i will link a picture right now and that way you really it's extremely easy and the stickers are really pretty and as you can see like it turns out really nice but today I want to do something I've not done before, so that is why I'm using a ruler. And then along with that, since I'm doing stripes, I'm also going to use a little pencil to do um, light marks where I need to section off, which is why I also have painter's tape so that I don't, um, the color doesn't bleed through. And again, like, obviously you guys don't have to do stripes when you do yours. I just thought it would be really cute and just add a little bit of fun to the wall, so... That is what I'm doing. And then I also like to end it, as you saw in my previous picture, I like to put little like knickknacks on it. I prefer flowers when I do it. So I bought, I have these right here and they're just a really pretty beigey color, but I'm not going to use these. I'm actually going to be using this really pretty white color because my wall things are black and white. So I bought some white ones, but these would be really cute too. Both of these are from Michaels, so... And I think the Martha Stewart Crafts, this one was a little more expensive, but I used a 40% off coupon, so it ended up being like $2.30 something cents. And then lastly, you're going to need something to paint on. So you can use some regular paper, newspaper, magazines. I've used all of this before. But today I am just going to be using little styrofoam blocks because I recently got something in the mail that came with these so I was like why not just use them because we don't subscribe to a newspaper service so I didn't really have anything right then to use so I'm going to be using that. You guys can use any material you have lying around just make sure you don't get anything on the carpet if you're doing it inside but you can do this outside too and probably be a lot less messy. Do it in the grass or something. Um, just lay something down. But we're going to get right into it. So I've laid out my blocks here. And what I did then was I measured it with my measuring tape to see how long the letters were. And they were roughly 9 inches. So I decided to do 
an inch and a half stripes and I'm going to be doing um, this to all the letters. I'm taking a light pencil mark which you can see right here and I'm going to be um, taping it off right where my pencil mark is. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the letters and then I'm going to put my painter's tape on. So I'll be back in a second. You can see I have went ahead and taped off all of the areas I don't want to paint. So I'll be obviously where the white is, I'm going to be painting it black. And I've also taped the sides here because when on the wall you will still be able to see the sides so I will be painting those as well. So that is what it looks like now and I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. As you can see I have made a nice little mess here <laughs> but I have done the first coat of paint. And I'm about to put a second coat on. Um, it takes a while in this stage because you want to wait a little bit for the first coat to dry fully. Um, so then the second coat will be nice and pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and put the second coat on. So I just finished putting on the third coat. Chester, get off of those right now. You're going to get paint all over yourself. And I'm about to take off the tape now. So I put on three because the second coat, it was pretty much opaque but I want to do another round just in case because I don't want to have to retouch after the paint's off. So in a second we'll be back and they should be almost done. So here's the final product and there's a little bit of bleeding so I am going to go to the store again at Michael's and get some white paint to finish up just the little spots that got a little messed up. I suggest you getting frog tape from the commercials I've seen. The paint really doesn't bleed through as much as it does when you get like the really cheap blue tape right there, which it's my fault. I tried to get the cheapest supplies to make this, but investing in a better tape probably would have been a good idea. And also, I did mess up on the Z. If you can see right here, I forgot to tape off this little section right here. So the white was supposed to go down a little bit to match the other side. So what I'm going to do, instead of putting my little flower up here, I'm actually going to put it um, right here. So then I don't have to go over the black with white because I feel like that might not go over so well. So this is what the final product will look like after I tape this on. Luckily for me, um, this little flower came with taped backing so all I have to do is peel this off and stick it right on. I'm really excited how this turned out. It kind of reminds me, not kind of, it does remind me of Sephora store. It wasn't the look I was going for but I definitely don't mind it and I think it's adorable. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and seeing me create my block letters and definitely try it yourselves if um, you're looking to change something up in your room because they're definitely really cute to add as an accessory. And that is it, and I will see you guys later. Bye!